your Ford Bronco SUV was built for the outdoors. So much so, you can actually take the easy air doors off to experience nature unbridled while driving off-road. Your Bronco features a toolkit in your glove box that has everything you need to remove the doors. First, push the engine start-stop button once with your foot off the brake. Then, lower the windows on the doors you want to remove and push start-stop again. Fold the mirrors completely forward. Place one fender protector from your toolkit on the door and the other on the front fender to help protect from paint chips. Now, fully open the door and locate the wire connector. Hold the connector cover open while pulling the wire connector straight out. The cover is spring-loaded and will shut automatically. Ensure that the door is clean, then place the available door storage bag on it. Now, use the 13mm socket tool to loosen and remove the lower and upper hinge bolts. With another person's help, use the handles on the door bag and simply lift the door vertically to separate it from the vehicle. Zip the door bag shut and store it in a safe place. Then, repeat these steps for each door. Note that when you disconnect the wiring harness for the rear doors, the doors must be open. Store the doors in a secure place or take them with you using the available Ford Onboard Storage Kit. First, Install the eye bolts from the kit bag into the existing nuts on the rear pillars and hand tighten. Find the ratchet in the toolkit and use it to fully tighten the eye bolt. Open the tailgate fully and identify the numbered straps on the harness. Attach one and two to the eye bolts and three and four to the cargo rings. Now, place the narrow strap loop over all the rear headrests and tighten it, but don't damage the headrest. Flip the harness over the back seat to help keep it out of the way until you need it. You can then slide the driver's side rear door into the cargo area, taking care to avoid contact with the rear pillars, speakers, striker, or trim. Align the door peak with the highest point in the upper trim and then secure the bag by clipping to the retention harness. Now, follow the same steps for each door in order, clipping each as you go. Lift the retention harness over the doors and straighten the straps. Secure straps five and six to the upper eye bolts and secure straps seven and eight to the lower rear cargo rings. Tighten all adjustable straps. Follow the same steps and fold the unused door storage bags to use as spacers between the doors and the lower cargo hooks, then tighten the straps. To reinstall the doors, fold the mirrors completely forward. Now, make sure all the hinges on the vehicle and doors are clean. Unzip the storage bag just enough to give access to the hinges and allow installation without the bag interfering. Put the fender protectors on again, one on the door and the other on the front fender. Install the alignment pin from your toolkit in the lower body side hinge. Be careful not to over tighten so it's easy to remove later. Now, locate the upper body side hinge and with the help of another person, position the door in the full open angle. Then align the upper door portion to the upper body pin and the lower door portion to the alignment pin and lower it down. Remove the lower alignment pin. Insert the bolts and tighten by hand. 
Then make sure they're completely tightened using the 13 mm socket tool. This may take some effort. Remove the storage bag from the door, then open the harness connector door and reconnect the wire harness. That's it. Open and close the door a few times to ensure that it's properly aligned and operates normally. And repeat the steps for each door. Once all the doors are installed, close them all. Then push the start-stop button with your foot off the brake and check the instrument cluster for a warning. No warning? You're free to hit the road.